Okay, um, I believe that should just about do it for news, unless anybody else has anything that they want to throw out there. Nope. That was about... Oh, Watch Dogs! True, Watch Dogs. There's My Little Pony uh, Easter eggs in Watch Dogs. Oh, yeah, there's been a lot of them. Apparently, there's uh, one with somebody writing pony fan fiction. There's a uh, keychain of Rainbow Dash that you can spot. And there's also... In a muscle car. In a muscle car. And there's also a weird one with uh, somebody who writes clopper, clopping fiction. That one's made up. There's one where a guy attended a My Little Pony convention. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get to the next little bit here, which is our discussion, which is... We're talking about our favorite things. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay. I was not expecting that. <laughs> hey, I got to admit, I kind of, it kind of threw off. But yeah, I know. I was Cam, shut up. I thought is it was an Odyssey title. Is that from Hit the Hills, The Sound of Music? Yeah, The Sound of Music. It... The hills are long. But I thought this, the few of my favorite things was a great way to do this. And yes, the whole discussion and idea is to talk, is to talk about some of our favorite things in the fandom. Of course, oh. uh, we were going to go for a heavy emphasis on fan fiction, but in all honesty, I wasn't exactly sure how today's events were going to play out. So I just went with the general few of our favorite things. So, the chat room, this is also your chance to throw in your favorite things in the fandom. The videos that you like, images that you like, music that you like, fiction that you like, anything in the fandom that you enjoy. Whether it was a recent enjoyment, or you've enjoyed it for months, or even years. And believe me, i got a couple of things that I've enjoyed for years in the fandom at this point. Oh, Now's man, your I time to get it out. Okay, might as well just get this out there. Porn. Porn? Thank you. Porn? Porn. I, oh, okay. Yes. I could have sworn I heard him say porn. No, I heard Yes. You yes, said I did. You did say that. With I'm the just P. getting that out of the way. Your okay. favorite thing is porn. No, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you for derailing everybody, you dick. Uh, <laughs> not really. I was going to do the exact yes. same thing. Exact same anyway, chat room, just to... The same mindset also, just for a chat room here that's joining us on live stream... Yes, you can put down, you can go ahead and link in the chat room things that you enjoy. And if you're watching this on archive, bless you people, you guys are awesome. But go ahead and also put your favorite things in the comments in this particular YouTube or wherever the hell we might be posting this. Because you never know what the future might bring. Oh man, like where to start? Like this fandom is infiltrated absolutely everything. Okay. Well, there is one that I do have. To, I want to throw out here right now. That this is actually. This is one song that I like hearing because I don't know. It just kind of gets me beefed up. It gets me beefed up a little bit there when I need a little more inspiration. The uh, Dash's determination. I'm just gonna play this in the background here. So uh, you don't mind if we talk? Go ahead and talk right over it. I'm just showing it off, and we're going to be showing off whatever else people might be linking or talking about. So anything right. and everything that you have, and this includes you guys, panelists. I know you guys have a few things in there that you enjoy. When I first came into the fandom, I'd have, like, I don't, I've never read, like, books and stuff a lot. Like, really long books until mm -hmm. I heard of, like, Followed Equestria. That is, like... Mind blowing was that fanfic to me. Fallout Equestria? Yeah. Like, you wouldn't see me as, like, me reading something. And reading something like that, like, I read the first two chapters and I'm just like, okay, I gotta see how this plays out. And then, you know, four months later, I f finally finish it and I'm just like, wow, what other fandom does stuff like this? <laughs> and then, like, all the videos and then. If the, if it's now a rule of the internet, if it exists, there's a pony of it. True. <laughs> it's just nice to be at, like, I got into the fandom, I guess, a year after it first started, so I could see it expand and infect, if you were to say, infect the world. And it's uh, pretty impressive. Like, I've never seen any other fandom do what they do. True, I've never seen anything like it. And in all honesty, I love pushing it, pushing it around a little bit more. <laughs> But yeah, Fallout Equestria, definitely a huge, huge thing. It's got several different stories, several side stories. It's got animation, artwork, printed books. And now apparently they even have uh, freaking... They got little cola tabs. 
I think they're coming out with a game, too. Well, they're coming out with an add-on for the game. Yeah, like a, a mod. Um, the one thing I did, like, I started reading, uh, what was it, Project Horizon? I got like 18 chapters in, and I'm like, this is this is just so fucking depressing. And they asked someone, I'm like, oh, when does it start lifting up? And he's like, well, I'm chapter 60, and uh, still pretty grim. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? There's like no, like, oh, hey, something happy happens here. And then they move on. No, it's just her alcoholic depression bullshit that I just don't want to read because it puts me into a sour mood. <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I know that feeling too. There's some things I just can't read or refuse to read just because I know it's not, I'm not going to enjoy it. Any case, um, here's uh, one to throw out here. Uh, somebody was asking if they're still doing uh, book prints of Fallout Equestria, which is another impressive thing for anybody to do. But yeah, see, uh, they are still doing print signups. It looks like they got 50 more that they can do, or at least 50 from the time they put this up about three, four days ago. So if you do want to get prints of that, there's a possibility. Of course, Sorry. yes, um, Suki also has the right point, past sins. Yeah, well, mine's right here. I I'm got... not Suki, by the way. My bad. Sorry, Jared. Sorry. Uh, I can't I'm gonna see. Need it's just the resolution is... Yeah, the shiny is unfortunately a little bit annoying there, but Past Sins yeah. was a really big book that they actually produced as well. I got my copy as well. Past mm -hmm. Sins? Past Sins. Past what, is, Sins. what is that? What? Le well, <laughs> that's a really good question. Um, um, it's, a, it's a fan pass, All right, Past Sins. I can give you a lowdown on Past Sins. I've read the book enough times. D probably do the same. Basically, Past Sins is basically the bringing back of Nightmare Moon. Not just Nightmare Moon itself, not Nightmare Moon with Luna, but just Nightmare Moon herself, her essence, if you will. Basically, the, it, the gist of the story, Twilight was taken with Pony Nap. They used her blood because she has lots of powerful magic, and they were going to create Nightmare Moon, and in the process, Celestia stopped it. And so far, like, Nyx was created out of that. And that's when the story goes, because basically, long story short, probably left to one of the most loved and most hated OCs in the event. Yes. Yep. Where a fandom can actually create, I don't it's know. so big I saw, it can like, create its own OC. the worst fandoms the other day. I mean, the worst OCs the other day. Uh, the tail had a head. Um... Well, it's it's one of those um, <laughs> OC. It's one of those famous OCs, an OC that isn't associated with any specific person, but is a fan created item, and people just I don't know. They get they get butt hurt because either it's not their OC, or they you know they think it's a bad OC, or how dare you even contaminate my pure ponies with something fan made. My OC is the best OC. But it's yes, like, oh whenever God. I hear bad OCs, I always think of that song, and it just makes me laugh. But yeah, if you're um, interested in the book of Fallout Equestria, though, let me get a link out here. And, for people. You you cannot get the action. Oh, Fallout Equestria, yes. You cannot buy past sins, though. Not anymore. anymore. Not unless you get it on eBay or something and get lucky. I I think D to this and day. Penny. And Penny. Both of them. This does I remind think, me. I've, actually, I've didn't D get lucky on that? We got lucky on that. Yeah. Because got some lucky. people didn't buy them. All right, well, let's go ahead and throw a few of the chat room suggestions that they've been throwing out here. Here's one that a lot of people really like, uh, the Tropical Octavia animation. <laughs> oh, man, I remember at a party at my friend's house, and we filmed uh, the guy who cosplays Snowflake. I'm yeah. good friends with him. You know who that guy is? Um, like the f he was wearing a tank top. No, he was wearing a wife beater and blue cargo shorts. And my friend Muffins was wearing wife beater and blue cargo shorts. And they started doing the dance in front of the TV, and we filmed it. And oh, they were God. very well coordinated. And this was during a uh, berry tube, so we were very, very, very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. But yes, uh, Tropical Octavia, definitely one of my more favorite ones. Though so I got to admit, Anime James has done a lot of fun ones that I've enjoyed. <laughs> Especially the uh, Bo Burnham one. Yeah, that was that. That, oh, that God. one. That one got that one got a special place in the uh, in the season four streams. <laughs> that one's got a special place. Period. Just, you're you're always gonna play that one and just laugh because you just hear. <laughs> 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 you see, see what I did there? 
Okay, now you here's know, if one. we change that Y to a seven, we'd be all right. <laughs> you CC, but I did. Yeah, no. but I did. Yeah. I do have. Yeah, I do admit, was talking about fan fiction and all that reminds me. I do. I kind of want to start a new series on my channel. What's that? Um, I, um, I, is this no. an OC? Yes, that's that's someone's OC. I just linked. Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh dear God! Uh, I'll bring it up first before I. Oh dear. Uh. So I've never seen <laughs> weirder oh. things than this. I, I, you, sadly, I have. No, 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 no. I've seen weirder shit on the internet than this. No, but you got it. No, no, no. The best part is the best part I is watch about it is you got to read the you got to read the description on it. Oh, it okay. has the do not steal kind of fucking thing to it. Please do if not make one. They are the a close piece. Oh, oh, that's stupid. He's really. Oh, oh, please do not kidding. make one. They're a close piece. <laughs> Nobody and wants to make do one. do not steal this archetype because it is mine. And then I put I, my comment on that picture. I didn't say anything. I just posted a link to that video. My OC is the best OC. And then uh, it's hidden by owner. Yeah, and it's hidden by owner. But then she says, <laughs> she says uh, I can't tell if you're serious or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of thing that gets her like just it's troll porn drawn of it because people can like yeah, you know that... what I'm talking about like when you see an OC it shows stupid life. <laughs> yeah. yeah in any case um, can somebody tell me I got this link for our chat room here Overmare Studios uh, sure. sounds familiar um, it does sound very familiar I'm gonna do a quick google search cause that that's well, I, got, I have it up here right it's now I'm just not vaguely I'd say that's it. it's, it's interesting yeah. at the same time it's dumb well, yeah, the, yeah, the whole talk of fanfic did remind me. I want to start a new show on my channel. That's actually all about the all about you know fan fiction review. Sweet. Because I because I find myself reading a lot of it lately. I know. Okay. I, I had that phase too, where I was just reading fanfic after fanfic well, after fanfic. Okay, it looks well, like is, a lot of this oh, is related to Fallout Equestria. Am I? I know what this that? is. Is this is the studio that's developing the Fallout Equestria fan game? Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, kudos. I can't wait to see this. So, okay. We got that in our uh, notes as well. It's also... Yeah. Ooh, speaking of fanfics, have any of you read the fanfic Crisis Equestria? Uh, no. Nope. Highly, highly, and by highly, I mean you should fucking read it. Suggest it. That's pretty high. Uh, <laughs> it's so fucking high right now. Let me see. Let me go through. Let me go through my favorites real quick, and uh, I will skip. I will skip certain ones. Okay. Well, it, here's it here's one that uh, somebody in our chat room. Batteries. <laughs> oh god, that's. Funny. Here's one that somebody in our chat room threw up. It's called uh, Sound Barrier, featuring Feather. I've heard this too many times to count. I love the song. Well, there you, go. there you go. Somebody likes it, so that says obviously another just, um, few of your favorite things. Just Feather in general. Be honest okay next here we go oh yeah this is definitely a favorite of everybody and ask flufflepuff oh god flufflepuff oh god yeah. flufflepuff yes we had she to get this so one. adorable it's i i like her even more now because she drives a 57 chevy bel-air that's pink and cream <laughs> what i'm what i'm wondering though is what's gonna happen i i've been waiting for an update to this ever since twilight's tree has exploded oh yeah yeah, he's got to figure something up. Yeah, I, I really got to wonder what he's going to do about that. Anyway, next, uh, we also got Perform This Way. What, really? The PMV. Well, yeah, it's a PMV. It just kind of threw me off a little bit. Oh, the Weird right. Al one? Yep. <laughs> you know what? I'll give it to oh, him. Don't told me when I was hatched. Act like a superstar. Oh, sorry. We're not playing the whole game. Nah, just a little bit of it. <laughs> Anyway, if any of you want links to any of this stuff, I am adding it into our show notes as we go. So, yeah, there is going to be a little bit of a delay between switching from one to the next, but that's because I'm literally typing it as we go. But, yeah, this is actually one of my more favorite songs and the only thing from Lady Gaga I can stomach. Well, actually, no, Lady Gaga had a couple of songs that I could stomach, but very few. Okay, that's enough of that. And now here's another world, uh, another world, one that was, um, comes suggested. Good girl, Dasha, and the Living Tombstone. Are you checking the panel chat? Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep up. I, I'm i sorry, panel chat, and also I'm sorry, chat chat. I, if so I haven't got things. to your stuff yet, post it again at this point because 
I probably missed it. Again, I, I admit I'm trying to keep up with it as best I can. It It is a bit arduous. Oh, Captain Berry Punch! This was awesome. I have not seen this. I have. What the hell? It's, um, it, I think it's the end of the, uh, F-Zero Legacy, uh, anime series that they came out with. But yeah, this is definitely an awesome, awesome one to have. Just when you need that little thing that gets you going and gets you a giggling. Where is that static keep coming from? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Fin fiction. Huh. Let's let's throw this one. It takes a the, village. Circuit, where can I can you send me that? Which one? That fucking that background that was just showing up. Um, of Nightmare Moon. Oh or good, Luna, I still have it. Whoever it was. I think it's a Luna armored one. I could see I that. want that. Okay. Uh, send me a reminder after show please. Okay, got it. Okay. It takes a village. Spike only wants one let's see. Okay, apparently uh, it's a Spike growing up story from the looks of it. Has anybody ever read this one? Uh, wait, it's a I almost wait, read it, but it's not, it's not within my interests, so I yeah. didn't read uh, it. Put, wait, put the link in there real quick and we take a quick look at it. I okay, think, I'm putting in the show notes right now. I think I started reading this one. Oh, Jeez. right. How could I? Wait. Best Pony Radio, huh? Need care for me and I'll wait for the... Uh, can I explain what it is? Shoot. Well, uh, which one? Uh, takes village or best or this best pony radio? Uh, best pony radio. So. Um, in one second here, we're trying to at least figure out. It takes village to see if I can at least come up with a decent synonymous synonymous uh, 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 and that's synopsis. It. Thank you. <laughs> synopsis. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, I do remember starting to read this one before. Okay, I. Yeah, I might put this back on my, my read later list and see. Yeah. see, see well, it's definitely got a lot of uh, high reviews, and it looks like it's pretty. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's pretty much yeah. Tw yeah, Spike has grown up, and he's like is like too big for where he is and everything, and he's and it's about you know the fact it's about the fact that the, you know, everybody comes together for him, and it's like it's it's a whole feel good story. Well, at least what from what I got of it, uh, I haven't read later on, so maybe there's some. Yeah. Maybe there's some bad stuff later, but basically, this is the premier coming of age Spike growing up story. As your as one is to get at times. Where the yeah, hell? pretty much. One of my favorite things in the fandom is obviously this show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you would be that fag. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hang it for it. You know what? Wait, I just realized what the greatest thing this, that's happened in this fandom ever was. Whoever the yeah. hell that drunk guy was that sang the Flim Flam Brothers song. Oh my Whoa. god, Team Fortress 2? Yes. Oh. That was beautiful. <laughs> no. Best thing in this fandom was Bender Trixie, if that counts. Whoa, that's actually Bite my these? shiny metal ass. Bite my great and powerful <laughs> ass. Oh, that, that, one's, that one's sad because I, I, you, can't, you can only find the voice acting panel for it now. You can't find the actual animated. Well, a little, little bit of the animated here and there. Okay, I can't find this. Uh, there was one. There's one good one that I read in Fim Fiction that I actually read through the whole way, and even though it's a crossover, I kind of liked it. it. Was a yeah, cross yeah. between Dragon Age and My Little Pony. I know what you're talking about, and I've probably read it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh, well, let's um, let's dig into this a little bit then. Best Pony Radio. Best Pony Radio is basically what it says. It is a radio that plays the top 200 of, uh, in their opinion, best Brony songs. Wait a minute, is it on iTunes, right? Uh, I probably mean, has I've a, been listening it, to it uh, from this app on my phone called TuneIn. Yeah, you got. So, you could do TuneIn, and it uh, probably has an iTunes radio station that you can link to, and it's a Winamp from the looks of it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's from our uh, subsidiary, Pony, not subsidiary, our partners, Ponyville Live. Yep. Nice. Yep, we're on Ponyville Live, people. Hey, so is Bronyville. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, like they've actually latest... expanded their stuff too. Hmm, go figure. Say the latest. Uh, if... yeah. oh, and we got forty-four <laughs> people watching. Yeah. Wait. Only Celestia Radio has us beat. No, they don't even have us beat. We tied. 
Actually, I'm <laughs> proud of myself there. You know, this brings up a thing. Like, one of my favorite things of the fandom that unfortunately didn't become a thing was Welcome to Ponyville. It's been, it's been, I think, yeah, almost a year since we got an update from them. Uh, Welcome to crap, Ponyville. Was that me... again? That was... The Philly game. Oh, that's... That was the... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, I, I the remember... Graphic, uh, a visual novel, right? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, um, they had to change it to do... They had to do something different with that, unfortunately. They're probably going to make it more of a visual novel in the future. It... Uh, oh, if that's look... their front page, I think we can just call it dead. It's been two years since they posted. Well, I think they... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say if they're dead or not. Unless they're working underground until they have a finished product. Which, might... given the issues they had before, I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised either if they just decide to go underground with it. But I think if we don't hear anything by the next Burning Con, we might want to consider the possibility. But in either case, uh, let's skip. Let's. Um, right, I gotta. I gotta find out now that I think about it here. Give me one quick second here, guys. Let's see. Okay, because it was mentioned, the drunk guy sings Flim Flam Brothers. Ah! Yay. Okay, chat room again, uh, please uh, post your links up if I haven't yet. Don't share audio. Well, I'll turn it down. So this is one you gotta share. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, Brian, I can't believe I. My ears are hurting. Why you see? Why you see? That's a fighter. Yeah, I just like how eventually the guy, do, the guy doing the subtitles just gave up. Even if I was out of the fandom for a little bit, I was still watching this video every month. <laughs> I got a, I got a video I'd like to share. Okay, um, go ahead and uh, post it into our panel chat here. I'm gonna go through a couple of chat submissions. Epic Rage Time is another one that got suggested, though, uh, granted, I probably would have gone with more of the uh, Epic Wub Time or the Epic bake, um, Baking Times. Epic Pie Time. Epic Pie Times, oh, yeah. Uh, no, we eat more lasers. Just Alligator Tub Productions in general. Oh, yeah, Alligator Tub in general. Anything <laughs> they make has been awesome. This just, is one of my least favorite ones, though. It's a little bit more just the serin It's a little bit different than the rest of them, though, but I still kind of liked it just for the few jokes. Uh, like, Mother of Me. Mother of Me, and uh, Twilight being thrown clear away. And, like, admittedly, the lasers were kind of funny. I, I like vinyls. Boo! More lasers! <laughs> so, Cupcakes are for breakfast, but muffins are? I was just on YouTube, and I see that there's a ponies version of Papers, Please. And, Yo, uh, yeah, that one, that one was just, um... Not even an actual uh, mod. Here's another right. one, though, that I can't believe I forgot all about. Children of the Night. Oh, yes. Yeah. The moment this was, like, done. fucking released, I watched this, like, ten done. times straight in a row. By the way, so obsessive, but but yes, it was a really great video. I love how this video, or this project, just kind of came out of nowhere. Actually, like, it, it, had little, it. it had little hints and stabs at it, but they didn't really see a whole lot in... And except for the animatic until it actually came out. Yeah. No, here's something hilarious. Somebody decided to do 10 hours of this. There's just an hour of everything, I think. Yeah, at this there's point. 10 hours. Yeah. Actually, now I actually want to take a look and see if there is a video called 10 Hours of Everything. You know, I wonder if YouTube would not have a 30 frames per second cap if people would stop putting 10 hour videos. That's a... There's so many. Holy crap. I don't like know, it's a hard one to man. say. Okay, here's a here's one from... <laughs> I played the 10-hour loop at my auto shop. 
for two hours before someone realized it was the same song playing over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's um, one MLP Top 100, but look, I'm not sure. Deal, is this actually something that you just created for yourself? Or... Yes, yeah, it's it something is. I compiled. That's what we were doing the um, analysis thing on for a couple shows. Remind me to start up again. It would be nice to keep that up and going. And I need to update it. There's been a lot more good stuff I found recently. But yeah, I just I'm, I really like art in this fandom. If my Tumblr didn't give that away, no art uh, in this fandom is oh, freaking speaking awesome. Speaking of your Tumblr, I like what you uh, linked with that fucking bird with the music. Like, that reminds me, we're going to be um, we're actually expanding our Tumblr to include a developer's Tumblr and start posting random stuff that we find that we enjoyed. Hopefully get a little more people paying attention to us in a bigger audience so they know when we're doing our site, our shows in there. In fact, I've been working really hard with it on CMC to do a multi-post program. And it works really well. I post in Google+, and it'll go to everything to Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, our Tumblr, Water. all at once. Okay, here's a one that we got in our chat room real fast because I actually was paying attention for half a second. What princes need... Princess Luna's lunar stallions kidnap twice, sparkle <laughs> when they see how lonely Luna is, and give to Princess Oh, give. this. I remember reading that. Wait, um, what is this? Okay, so the premise is essentially that uh, it's been over a year. Um, Creature's the one who linked it. I know that much. Yeah, no, it's like... I'm trying to remember. It's either Luna or Nightmare Moon. It's like having a hard time adjusting to their, like, their current life. Like, feels like... It's so weird. it's like a cycle analysis story, um, and if you have rape triggers, don't read it. Ah, like like no one actually gets raped, but it's like really close. Gee, I wonder uh... who it would be. Um, but it's like it was an interesting read. It was just also weird, if I can put it that way. Like if you're if you're looking for something different, that's a good story to read. It's a little bit more edgier than most, but it's not going overboard. Well, it's it edgy. A... It's it's very well detailed. Um, just I don't know. That's all I can really say about it. I okay, like it here's a dark. here's a weird one though that I grabbed, but I'm not entirely sure what this is. Uh, My little Toa Unity's magic. Princess Matanui. <laughs> Why do I feel like I, we just got hit by another freaking Tokoi's um, Lego fetish? What? <laughs> what? That's a thing. Um, anyway, my favorite, one of my other favorite fanfics that was very creative was the brony heroine of, of Equestria. Okay. That is hilarious. <laughs> All right. Here's another one here. Moonrise. Uh, oh, I remember this one. Yeah. I actually played yeah, it for I, an, almost an entire pre-show at one point. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. I really it's like It's a whole this. album. It's a freaking synth metal opera. It's an entire metal opera. Yeah, I linked it here in this, uh, our uh, panel, too, but don't yeah. worry about it. No, that's pretty much where I grabbed it. Oh, okay, good. A but, metal opera? A yes. metal opera. This is really good. And uh, let's see. Well, Since it's a metal opera, see. we can listen into I need, it. I need that link to mean. Let's see. It's, it's in the show notes. It's, it's here in the panel, dude. Okay, yeah, here's right um, yeah, it's here's the last link. And here's uh, another story recommendation, oh. A Dash of Shyness. Yeah, I, de see, I definitely have to. I definitely have to listen to that because, well, if anybody knows me, they know they know they know that pretty much my number two band ever is Dream Theater. Okay, um, Deathfire, you linked a uh, Dash of Shyness. Could you talk a little bit about it? Okay, so basically, Dash of Shyness is really misleading because it says sad, but there's only a few cases where it's kind of sad. It does get. I think more properly, uh, it should have a dark tag in addition to the sad tag because it's really just a slice of life story talking about how Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy grew up when they were young. And even though he says it's still kind of canon, it's, in my opinion, alternate universe. But it's it's good. I like it. It's one of my favorite um, when you're young sort of stories. So, yeah. All right, and here's another one that came recommended, and, and no, I should have saw this one coming a little bit because it is funny. The Ru source filmmaker Russian Relay. <laughs> I gotta oh, admit, God. a lot of the, yes. oh, I am enjoying a lot yes. of the uh, source filmmaker videos that are coming out now, and go finding myself going back to them, especially uh, um, Party Hard. That was that's a fun one. 
Oh, I haven't seen that one. You know, so some people say the source film ponies creep them up, but I'm like, if they were to, if Hasbro were to make a game based off of My Little Pony, I hope they would make the models look something like this and not try and do the shell uh, cell shading, 3D animation because those never look good. Actually, there's a there is something funny about um, you mentioning that there is some talk that EA might be creating a pony RPG. EA. Yeah. So they're gonna make one. No, here's uh, the thing. There, this so is. Gonna make one every year. No, this is like a rumor within a rumor, though. There is. There, there's no actual substance. This is like rumors within rumors. So a possibility. Nothing confirmed. Nothing at all. For all we oh, know, it's yeah. just a rumor, but it is something I heard. I thought it was interesting and also terrifying. I'm just waiting for people to mod Grand Theft Auto San Andreas with ponies because that's that. They've done it. Amazing. No, no, no. I mean the new one. Oh, you made five. Yeah. five. Five. Oh, I'm sorry. Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah, they got to get out on a PC first. It's coming out in October. Ah. But uh. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, with the way EA's been lately, you know, we'll get we'll get that pony RPG, and it'll cost eighty bucks on Origin. Eighty and bucks? On, no, eighty bucks on Origin. Stay online in order to play it. No, forget that. Eighty bucks on Origin, about forty things of DLC, which you kind of don't want but want at the same time. It'll I have also, a feeling it'll, it'll be. You'll rush the release, and it'll take an additional three years for it to finish, like a finished product. <sighs> yeah, feel no, like no, it. I have... It'll take an extra three years to. They'll make a rushed release, and then they'll make the to get the ending of the game. You'll have to buy DLC, well, and then they'll come out with a uh, zombie version. And, oh, of course. Yes, and then it'll be Nazi pony zombies. <laughs> okay. By the way, Lego Fetish was probably a bad choice of term, but their undeniable, ble- undeniable love of Bionicle. Thank you, Brain. In any case, uh, let's get back to a couple of other suggestions here. We've got quite a bit here, and I want to try to get through a few more before we get into the video segment. We have Dr. Pinky and Miss Pie. Uh, can I take a wild shot here and guess that this is just a, a crossover between Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and, obviously, ponies? You probably nailed that right on the head. I wouldn't be surprised Actually, if I did. Actually, I'm reading a fanfic that, that that's doing this the same thing, too, except they based it off the musical. Oh, yeah, there was a musical of that. Yeah, they're, they're literally basing it off the one that uh, David Hasselhoff did. God, I, I okay. remember that now. <laughs> now let's see. What was that one called? It, oh, whoops, that's too many pages back. I thought it was just... Okay. Oh, God, but I, oh God, but I did come across the story, uh, Princess Twilight flips a table. All right, here's another one. Uh, playing with my heart. Four, four years after Vinyl and Octavia broke up, Messy Painful left scars. Both of them four years later. Now on most six DJs, Vinyl receives news. Uh, Octavia's been in an accident. Doctor says she may never recover from coma. Basically, a little bit of sadness, romance, and da 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 da. So basically, a vinyl Octavia mix and tears at your heartstrings. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Just uh, if we're still in fit fan fiction. Uh, I'm all over the place here, so go with yeah. it. Yeah. I was gonna say, look up the Evil Bell series. Evil Bell. Evil Bell. It's a. It's it's all about Sweetie Bell trying to be trying to be a super villain. Is it dark? No, it sounds. It's, if, it's if, I hear. I hear um, <laughs> it's see. one of those where she's trying, where she's trying to be, but ever, but nobody takes her seriously. But she, but at one point, she actually, she actually gets like a demon to give her powers. She went to crossroads. Um, of the place okay, I found one evil bell, but it's literally one evil bell. Okay. Oh yeah. There's that. Well, he released them as separate stories. They're like different titles. Ah. Like, like the, there's um, ah crap. I have to go through. I have to go back and look at it, but it's like. Dang it! Don't sep- release it as separate stories, you stupid dark um, off. Hey, I gotta go, guys. Uh, it's been nice talking to you, and uh, yeah. Oh well, yeah. If you gotta go, go ahead and uh, do a final shout out for you, man. Uh, just like I said earlier, uh, Trotcon coming up on the twenty second. Uh, hope to see you guys there. Yeah. Uh, take care. Sweet. Okay. See you later. And later. with that, we'll say goodbye to Sapphire. Unfortunately, uh, if you can find the link to Evil Bell, I'd be more than happy to take a look further into it. But uh, yeah, I'm not finding anything. Well, the and... ev- well, the one you had up was the first one. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Quick to my recent tabs. Yeah, that was the first one, and then if you look, and pretty much from that point on in the stories, there's a. There, there Are you talking about the Alicorn Amulet one or? Let's see. 
Really? Oh god, I found the one that was... Okay. Here's one of the latest crossover ones I read. <laughs> Pony versus food. Are you talking about the uh, evil the uh, evil bell where she gets the um, alicorn amulet, apparently? Yes. Okay, so yeah, it looks... Yeah, it looks like this is just um, a side, a not a side story, but yeah, it's story and then just several stories with it. So we'll go ahead and put Evil Bell in here. It does look interesting, though. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it's a fun read, and if you <coughs> if you get the other ones, you can, they're definitely worth it. Okay, I'm gonna try kicking up the pace here a little bit because we do got, I do got a few more submissions I want to go through, and I'm pretty sure our chat room's dilute, diluted. <laughs> Deluge. Splooge? Splooge. Bukaki. Okay, there's uh, Daddy Discord. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. It's all right. Yeah, Daddy Discord's not bad. At least it's not played as much as um, the other Discord one. Discord is buttery and smooth. He's better than country crop. Okay, and here we go. Um, musical film Wake Up Applejack. This one's weird because it almost looks like a shipping between Applejack yeah, and Braver. Yeah, it is. That's what it, that's what it feels like. Hey, you know what? Inc incest is best when the sibling says yes. Yeah. Hey, oh. no, it's incest. More like wincest. Am I right, fellas? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. You're all terrible people. I gave up on backing away slowly and just started running flat out. Okay. Well, yeah. It looks like um, looks like Kelly Chan has a, an in, a big enjoyment of Doctor Pinky and Miss Pie. Don't worry, I've gotten to it several times over. I'm just not kidding. Where's that? Da where's that damn story? Uh, I'm actually go. looking for the other one that was the Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde thing. Okay, was, chat room. Let's see if I can quickly grab a couple of yours here. Admittedly, I'm going through the grabbing these as quickly as I can. Here we got a uh, one called Sketchy Salad Symphony. Ooh. Yes. Wait, what the hell? That was mine. No. What is this about? Oh, no, something else. Something else got me the what the <laughs> hell. Um, sketchy Salad Symphony. Okay, uh, shoot. Okay, one minute summary. Basically, it's a story about a guy who uh, loses cannon a lot because of stuff that was happening at home. Um, and what was it? He, I think it's he sketches for a living? Something like that. Or writes music, one of the two. And... Uh, it's basically a romance story between him and Octavia and also two other OCs. And it not it's not like a four where they're all like, romancing each other. It's like there's one romance and then there's the main romance, but they're both done like really well. And I'm not like really big into the romance genre, but the this was really well done. Like if you want a story that just reads really smoothly and has a lot of detail and adds a lot of character depth, this is it. Because Octavia really isn't giving character in this fandom and this is the this story gives her one that just makes her come alive so if that's the sort of thing you like go for it that's and it's romantic comedy for a reason it's good it's good okay i left the lights on on my car all right Ooh, out, that sucks but they were looking at me <laughs> all right um i got a few more submissions here and i'll go ahead and go through them however yeah we're we're pretty much running out of time here. So, CMC, if you could do me a huge favor, could you grab the ones that I might have missed and uh, let me know what they are so I can add them into the show notes uh, in the near future? Here's another weird one. Uh, I'm not sure why in the world somebody likes this, but uh, to each their own. I mean, a few, it's a few of your favorite things could be anybody's, and apparently it's green and purple. Oh, green and purple. oh, oh, this is on the very tube stream a lot. I love this. <laughs> hey, let's this not is... forget the uh, what was it? Summer Sun Celebration. Summer Summer Sun Celebration. <sighs> oh, that one. You yeah. motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play now, Circuit. You have to play it now. I'm already ahead of you. Good job, Circuit. That's my boy. And Green Summer Sun is not enough to find it. Summer Sun Let's... Celebration. Okay, let's see. Some, 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 Here it is, top one. They are at PMV. Do it. Shit, I actually You gotta let this it. play out the entire way. I've well, never, if I don't have any I've more, uh, you, if I don't have any more YouTubes, I'd be more than happy to. But while this is going, we still got a few others I gotta throw out here. One of them, Dark Wanderings. <laughs> let's see. 
Yeah. Well, I probably figured out all the titles of the other of the other evil bells. Okay, let's see. Uh, she must sell it to the private place. Yeah. Just read the synopsis right there. Thing. Yeah, Twilight has disappeared, not from the face of Equestria, but from, possibly from the face of the universe itself. She must Yay! now learn to survive a place like anything which she has experienced thus far. Luckily, she has a friend in the Wasteland. Join Twilight and the Lone Wonder as they try, they try to find the way that sent Twilight back home. Try to hide the hot one? Bas ba basically, uh, Metro 2020, 2021 and, uh, MLP crossover. Okay, got it. Okay, here's another one. Um, I believe this actually has a film fiction of it too. Better living through science and ponies. A by combination Penny? of portal and ponies. Wow, it's by Penny. Yep. Uh, what was that one series that's animated and it's portal to ponies? My, it's like, uh, my little portal. Little portal. Is... Yeah, my yeah. little portal. It hasn't had an update lately though. Those those aren't that great. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Cthulhu is a pretty cool guy. What that? Celestia so invites Kuth Cthulhu over for tea. Isn't that that octopus thing? Yeah. Yep. Cthulhu. Okay. But yeah, it's pretty much uh, you can tell exactly what you're getting with this. All right. Ah, uh, jeez. A few of my favorite things. My ass. This is a ton of things. A ton of my oh. favorite things. Okay. <laughs> the Ballad of Mecca Pinkie Pie. What? You know, the fun thing though is that this is a guy who's behind the, uh, you know, the the the, the, anime, the only you know the self-made cartoon. Yep. They did. We actually interviewed yep. him way back when. Of course, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is actually ever going to get made, especially since they've already hinted at his next cartoon series, which, yeah, it doesn't involve ponies, but it does look pretty interesting so far. So guess what's on the twenty-first? What? Summer solstice. The summer, 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 summer. Oh, it's the summer sun celebration. And finally, a quick, a quick one here that even I have to have to throw out there just because of who I am and what I love. Ding, Equestria, Equestria Gaming. Gaming. Equestria Gaming, a whole website devoted to all game things related to video games and ponies. Do what? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it has everything from. Uh, actual little games that you can play, or big games that are uh, that were created by the community that are enjoyable. Blah, blah 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 blah. And they also got mods for a bunch of different games. They have their own arcade for flash games, servers for a bunch of different online games. Everything related to gaming, you can come here for it. And this is definitely a few favorite things. More than a few. Whoa. 